I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome back to the Gospel Gamble and now we are in EP 11. Can you say EP? EP sounds... You can write EP. I, I don't think you can... You can't say EP. You can't say EP. Anyway, I, here we are, episode 11, and it's so good to have you with me today. Um, those of you who joined me for the last episode, you would have seen me win against Oxford City 2 0. What a wonderful, wonderful victory. We had a goal from Reese Greenidge there, and a goal from the Big Melon, um, which earned him his nickname, the Big Melon. Before then, he had some boring, insignificant name Max, Mel- Max Melanon? Melanon? Something, something like that. Let me just. He's, he should have his real... Yeah, Maxwell Melanson. Um, but he is now, because of that goal, he's named a big melon. And so uh, it was a good game. Good game. Because that has now got me six points from three games. So I now have two games to get three more points. So if I win this next game against Welling, who we're playing today, I will be well in. And so, without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time today. I want to get straight into the game because I feel like I've, I'm, I'm on off. I feel like I'm on a roll today. I feel like I'm feeling good. Things are going all right. I'm feeling like sprightly today. Um, so I don't want to waste time. Um, so here we are. Here's the tactic that I'm going to be going with. Um, we've got a four 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 two four. Um, kind of going on really we've got um, four at the back two central midfielders we've got two wingers there um, Carl Spence and Anjan Sartre and then we've got two up front as well so let's um, I'll go a little bit more into that in a second they look like they're going to be playing a 4-4-2 formation um, Welling the last time we played them we won 2-0 oh and that was in oh no their last game sorry their last game was against Truro and they won 2-0 brilliant I thought I'd won but never mind we haven't ever played them before um, so this is the first time we're playing them um Oh man, they are above us in the league. Let me just take you to the the league at the moment. Um, yeah, look, they're in 12th place. We're in 14th. But, you know, that's pretty close. That's pretty pretty nearby. We're, we're level pegging, really. They're due to be doing better. We're supposed to be doing better as well. Both of us aren't doing great in the league. But I think they're still the favourites today. Um, here's the team. Um, so we've still got the, the big melon um, in the central midfield there. We've also got Ben Harding in the central midfield here. As you can see here down right, I don't know if you can because of my video, but um, just sort of above up there uh, is my right back, um, Mike Carter, in case you can't see him. Um, Mike Carter has played in a few places. Here he is here. Um, has played in a few different positions. He predominantly likes to play in midfield. However, last game I had him as right back and he actually had a good game. Um, he's causing a little bit of disruption in the team at the moment because he um, is saying that we're underperforming and then some of the team then kind of went on his side. However, uh, these games that I've won have helped him out a little bit. So he's only slightly concerned, as you can see there. A slight concern, a mild aggravation, you could say. But anyway, he's doing all right. Um, then we've got Johnny Hurd on the left. Um, Kelly Ugar is back. He has been injured for so long. That's why he's, um, you can see here he's on the subs bench and his um, match sharpness is 70 73%, but I'm so keen to bring him back because if you've seen any of the earlier episodes, Kelly Yugo was one of the ones that really set up a lot of goals. Oh, there you go. He's only set up one, but in, non- in friendly, he set up two. Um, but he just seems to be all over the place when you play him. Um, however, Johnny Hurd has been playing well, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to drop him yet. His, yeah, see, his last five games, he's had a 7.16 average rating. So I'm not going to drop him because of that. De Gratcher is still back in the side. Had an okay game last time round, so he's still there. And then up front, we've got Charlie Collins and Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe is on thin ice. If he doesn't start showing up, then I'm going to be getting rid of him at the end of the season, I have to say. Other players um, who are on the bench, we've got Strong Beardy in goal on the bench. We've got um, Andy Robertson, the captain, is on the bench at the moment just because of, um, really, because of these two playing well. Um, so, yeah, that's him. Elliot Wheeler on the right, um, of a right back. As I said, Carter played well last time round. Because Elliot Wheeler was tired, I gave him a rest. Um, Elliot Wheeler is a good defender, though. I'm happy with him so far. And Justin Bennett, Gordon Bennett. Um, do you have grandparents that say that? Like your granddad going, oh, oh my, this this biscuit's a bit uh, is a bit duff. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Oh, maybe that's just me. Um, I don't say it, but I just did then, so maybe I do. Um, anyway, before we get to the game as well, there are three players I just want to introduce you to. Um, three loans that I've got in for the rest of the season. Firstly, we've got this fellow here, Cameron James, on loan from Colchester, 
Um, he is a sort of a centre back. Um, doesn't look too fantastic. Um, a couple of eights and nines in there. Um, his physical is what I quite like. Look at that acceleration, his strength and stamina is all pretty high, which is good. So um, young guy, so I'll probably bring him in when these defenders start having a bit of a tough time and then we brought in two wingers I've brought in um, this guy here um, this Polish guy called Hubert Adamczyk is that right is that have we got any Polish viewers who would know how to say that Hubert Adamczyk Adam Adamczyk Adamczyk sick Adam he is sick Adam man he is sick Adam anyway sorry so Hubert I of course called him Hubert um, attacking mid on the left and then as well as that he, oh he's loaned by the way from Chelsea um, I know how on earth did I get that and then secondly I've got this uh, Dakari Sharif or Sheriff Dakari Sheriff man so bad, <laughs> so bad with names um, where is he from oh he's just from England from Crawley obviously Dakari D Sharif um he is from Colchester as well so we've actually got two two um, players from Colchester Cameron James and the other fella um, but anyway a couple of wingers to, just in case Carl Spence or Anjan Saar don't play well or Anjan Saar really prefers being up front so if one of my other strikers doesn't play well I might bring in um, Hubert um, Adam Sick on the right and then we've got um, Dakari Sheriff on the left so we, I don't know we'll see, we'll see how we go but they're, they're not even on the bench today um, just because I was happy with how the team played last time round so let's submit that let's get moving with this let's get rolling with this um, also the other reason I brought in those players because they are young and my board aren't happy because I'm not hitting the expectation that I'm supposed to be playing all these youngsters um, in the first team and I just haven't been um, mainly just because I don't know like they just I just haven't I, I, I have no no excuse sometimes you just don't have an excuse and I don't so that's the way it is so they are playing the 4-4-2 we've got um, Bakare and Vernam um, up front so we'll close those guys down and Curtis Cumberbatch um, and um, Shamoten my 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 Shamoten um, Fum, Fumnia what a that is an amazing Fumnia Shamoten <coughs> excuse me Fumnia Shamoten my 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 Shamoten part of me would want to just um, have him just for the just for the fun um, let's get back to the game however and um, let's challenge the team where they picked off they were playing well come on boys um, straight on from when you finished the last game and they haven't really made any impact on them at all so we'll just try and boost them up with a bit of passion and uh, see how that impacts them and we'll go from there so let's see how this goes whether we do what we need to do or not I just need to win this game and my job is safe for the meantime. However, if those of you who remember the Gloucester gamble, um, you'll remember I had this ultimatum. I actually hit the point target. They gave me, I think it was eight points I needed from five games. I hit that those amount of points. And then it was something like the next game. Meanwhile, Welling on the attack. Anion Sars. Oh, yes, we've had it out. And Anion Sars pumps up the pitch to Collins. Come on, Collins. Come on, take it around that defender. He has... Across the low. Oh, hit the post. Hit the post. Oh, and it's gone out of play. Um, yeah, those are going back to the Gloucester Gamble. Go. There's a whole playlist of the Gloucester Gamble, by the way. Go and check it out. But in there, I had an ultimatum. And uh, spoiler alert, coming to the end of the season, just to let you know, the, the end of the series um, for Gloucester Gamble is going to be revealed in the next 30 seconds. Um, I was given an ultimatum by the board, eight points in five games, did that, succeeded, and then it was something like the game after that, or the game after that, um, I lost 5 0 and then got sacked. So, brilliant, great. Here is Hurd, back to Spence, back to Hurd, and Anions are on the back post, and he, he puts it away, he puts it away, Joe Anions are, it's only his second goal of the season, but yes, come on, we are 1-0 up, 19 minutes in, this is really nice, that was a really nice play, Spence plays it back to Hurd, here's Hurd, caught from the cross, and Anions are completely unmarked, over the keeper, he heads it to the far post, so I taught him that, thanks very much. Right, so let's tell my players to concentrate. Um, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, good, good. This is a great start. 20 minutes in. Here's M -M 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 crosses it in. Vernon. Oh, and uh, Harding. 
is on it to Gratcher back to Ashmore Ashmore um, played last game instead of strong beard he played a good game Greenidge cuts out the pass there and Wellard oh, he is Wellard mate. I don't want to mess with him um, cleared out good 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 and Collins oh, we can't keep hold of the ball at the moment we're clearing it out but not keeping it on them Wellard bullying everyone to the ball back to Cumberbatch Benedict Cumberbatch who crosses it get Ben Harding's on it oh their crosses luckily aren't connecting at the moment but this is a good attack from them Jamal Lowe Charlie Collins through just Jamal Lowe and Jamal Lowe oh, what, a, what a waste that was such a good opportunity and Jamal wasted it oh boy oh. interestingly enough um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before but Jamal Lowe was recommended to me by a faithful viewer um, who left me a comment about him looked him up and there are actually two Jamal Lowe's that are spelt slightly differently um, and one of them has got like a double barreled or middle name or something so I'm not sure if I've bought the right one because <laughs> so this Jamal Lowe's rubbish he's not doing anything but anyway Wellard on the edge of the box here sprays it out wide to Williams for Welling here can they get a crossing they do Wellard oh and they've equalised Ricky Wellard surely that's like an EastEnders character or something Ricky Wellard there's got there's, there's an EastEnders character in it Ricky is the, the kid who had the dog Wellard not that I've ever watched EastEnders 42 minutes in we're back to square one here equalising equal pegging equal, fair pegging equal pegging standard standard pegging <laughs> I don't know what the phrase is. I don't know what the phrase is. Okay, we're doing so well so far. I'll tell the players to keep it up in the second half. Um, yeah, I'd agree there. I think we are doing... We can still... Yeah, keep it up. Come on, boys. We've got a couple of players there on seven. Ben Harding and Joe Anion side playing well. That's nice to see. A couple of 6.8s there. That's good. Greenidge and Johnny Hurd. See, we're beginning to put together some some decent... like half. You know, about five, six games ago, half-time, all my players are on like 6.6s, 6.7s. However, now we've, I'm finding that about last few games, three or four of my players have been on at least seven. Um, it's that kind of feel, and I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It shows there's a bit of good good work going in here the only player here who doesn't oh there's a few there's a couple of players here who aren't playing great Mike Carter isn't doing too great neither is Charlie Collins there here's Ben Harding across to Reese Greenidge Harding through to oh if that got through to Collins that, he, they wouldn't have had a chance against that Bakare on his way out now Cumberbatch plays it through to Vernon what can he do with it Greenidge just left him on his own there Nathan Ashmore had to pull out a save meanwhile Shamotum with the corner my, 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 Shemotum. Hey, Carl Spence, come on, boys. Come on. Let's rush it out. Rush it out. Push it out. Oh, Wellard fouls. Absolute filth from the dog man. The EastEnders dog. Disgusting. It's disgusting behaviour. Okay, so Mike Carter and the Gratcher both having a poor game now. So what I might do is um, bring Elliot Wheeler on for Mike Carter, I think. Uh, I'm tempted to bring off the Gratcher as well. I might just wait a little bit longer. I'm not going to wait a little... Yeah, I'm just going to... Just a little bit longer. I think Elliot Wheeler is a great player who can pull it out of the bag when I need him to. Um, good, strong player. So I'm glad he's back in the side. I'm glad he's um, got his, his sort of fitness back. His condition was so low. He just played a, quite a few games short, back-to-back, -back, you know, and he just... He was really tired. See, Greenidge is looking very tired as well, but he's having an all right game. What did I say last episode? All the good players get really tired. I suppose it's because they're putting more into it, aren't they? Shamotum's got a yellow card. Dear me. All right, I was just trying to think of a Shamotum pun there, but I couldn't really think of one. Anyway, Bakare. Back to Naughty after the throw in. Throwings. Uh, Fagan. Diallo. What can Diallo do with this? My, my, my Shamotum. On the ball. Back to Naughty. Don't let him get onto it. He's got onto it. Oh man! 74th minute. This is oh so annoying. Come on. It's poor. It's it's like it's oh, it's just a couple of these defenders have been playing so badly and like not marking their players, not doing well um, at all here. Yeah. And I'm, it looks like I'm probably going to have to start attacking because we've only got it's the 74th minute. Come on, in, let's watch this goal. Here's Shamotum there. 
I'm so glad he's got lots of the ball because it meant I've had been able to go my 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 a lot. There's Vernon, and he puts it away. Oh, for goodness sake! This is going to be so tense. It means in the last game that I've got, yeah, in the last game that I've got, I've got. I have to win it. Oh, put so much. I put so much. Well, they put pressure on me. It's not me putting pressure on myself, is it? Right. Okay, we're going to have to do. We're going to have to. Shall I overload it? Five minutes to go. No, we're not going to overload it. We're just going to attack. But we're going to go, go route one, shoot on site, pump the ball into the box. High tempo. Higher, pushing them higher. Come on. Here we go. You've got five minutes now, boys. Five football manager minutes to do this. I trust you. I trust you. And let's do, I'll tell you what, I'll also do a passionate push forward. Here's Vernon Worrell on the ball. Through to Wellard, he's all on his own. Puts the game beyond doubt. Oh, dear me. Back to counter. Oh, man. Dear, dear, dear me. Come on, get rid of all this. Oh, there's the goal. Here's Worrell. Obviously, on as a sub. Here's Wellard. I didn't mark Worrell. And Wellard just tucks it away. Left foot. Nobody was marking him. Wellard. Ricky Wellard. I can't believe I've lost to an EastEnders character. Ah. See, yeah, they've had more shots than us. More possession than us. Oh, come on. Don't be 4-1. No, that's good. So that'll be the end of the game. 3-1. We didn't deserve to lose 3-1, in my opinion, there. I don't feel we've deserved to lose 3-1. Um, they said we can't fault the balls. Boys, no, I think we can. I'm not happy with your performance out there. No, I'm. yeah, I'm not happy about it still. Like, you know, I'm not, like, to you guys, I'm saying, I, I, you know, I think they've done all right, but to them, I'm not going to say that. Ricky Wellard gets man of the match. What is this about? EastEnders. EastEnders. Man, so that is another loss. I'm now down, to, well, it says they're 14th, but I don't think that's right. I think I'm probably a little bit lower than that. I think I'm down to about 17th or something like this. Yeah, there I am. 17th place. Three places above relegation. Luckily, my next game is against Dorchester. I say luckily because Dorchester are two two points below me two positions below me fighting against relegation themselves and so I have got to I have to win it otherwise I'm sacked and so if you if you've got your right mind on you you are going to want to be here tomorrow I say here I mean not like my house don't don't come to my house that's a, that's a bit weird really but um but be here on YouTube and, uh, and come and see either the demise, the second demise of the worst football manager ever as I lose another job in less than a season, or I win and turn this whole thing around, which can still be done. Can still be done. Um, off the top of my head here, I like the formation, so I might stick to the formation, but I might change a few of the players around. I might be bringing in a couple of these lone players as a bit of a risk, because I've never played them, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the risk. So join me for the risk tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoy this stuff, then please go on to, uh, you know, click on the subscribe button and click on the like button, the little thumb up. Do leave me some comments with any advice that you might have for me. Um, if I do keep my job, it'd be nice to then actually try and do something good and build it up. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Join me on Twitter as well if you want to chat about it on Twitter at WorstFManager. But until next time, I will see you later.